Hi Bill, it's so great that it's spring again and we can once again visit with our plant friends. Well, one plant that all outdoor enthusiasts learn to know and respect is poison ivy. Yeah, it is interesting that Native Americans considered poison ivy the warrior plant because it grows at the border where humans have disturbed the natural area, as if it is making a barrier to keep humans out of the deeper woods. Also, it's interesting to note that a homeopathic remedy is actually made out of poison ivy. It's called rust tox, and it can be very useful for pain, especially upon rising in the morning. Poison ivy belongs to the Anacardiaceae family, or the cashew family, and it's also related to other sumacs. We naturalists have a saying, leaves of three, let it be. It has many different appearances depending on its habitat as well as the time of the year. Well, poison ivy is definitely a poisonous plant, but people react really differently to it. Some people can touch it with no reaction at all, while others get a very severe rash. I was one of those who got a bad rash. How about you, Bill? Well, I work in an arboretum where it can be found absolutely everywhere. I was always extremely sensitive and I could actually develop a rash regardless of the time of the year. Well, after suffering terribly for many years, I discussed this problem with a Native American elder who I was studying herbal medicine with. He initiated me with ancient knowledge about how the young leaves of the plant were eaten in early spring, which seemed to lend immunity to developing the rash later in the year. At first, this sounded strange to me, but having studied homeopathy and vaccinations as a nurse, it started to make sense. So I decided to try it. So Alan, how many years have you been ingesting poison ivy? Well, I don't know if I want to share that, but actually <laughs> it's been 35 years, Bill. It worked wonders and I have been using this technique ever since. I shared this with you a few years ago. What has been your experience with it? Well, Alan, I've actually, uh, I had previously read about it at the time, and I know that it was uh, a tradition that was practiced uh, by hikers as well as other naturalists. So when you first mentioned it to me, I was already receptive to the idea, although a little cautious. Bill, as you recall, I suggested that you wait until early spring when the first reddish poison ivy leaves emerged. That way, I take one tiny leaf in a paper towel and put it in my mouth once every other day for three days. First, I hold it to the four directions as a spiritual offering and I make peace with the poison ivy spirit. Then I chew it until it's liquid and swallow it. I do this three times, once every other day. Well, not only has this technique given me a wonderful immunity, but my uh, psychological view has changed as well. The plant and I have actually uh, have a mutual respect for one another, and it's literally become part of me. Bill, I guess we're going to demonstrate this technique, but you don't do this at home, okay? Bill has chosen a new growth of poison ivy right here at the Arboretum, and he's going to just clip and chew one of the smallest parts of the leaf. Okay, Bill. I guess we can still see this. Yes. <laughs> bon Appetit. <laughs> Notice he does have gloves on so he doesn't break out with a rash on his hands before he has the immunity conferred. Brave man, brave man, Bill. Go to it. <laughs> and he is now following in the footsteps of many traditional herbalists throughout history. You're gonna need an ocean Happy hiking! <laughs> Thanks, you too.